Lisa as a parliamentary candidate elected. Municipal Electoral Officer Eunice Yabuakwe declares Issa Fuseini victor over his only contender, publisher of Daily Searchlight, Ken Ajay Crunch, amidst wide tribulations that had little regard for social distancing. Issa Fuseini garnered 305 votes of total valid votes cast, while Ken Crunch polled a total of 285 votes. Voting at all seven centers were generally smooth, but for a few skirmishes that were quickly resolved. Coronavirus safety protocols were practiced at all centers visited. Ken Crunchy, a two-time failed parliamentary candidate for Kankwe North, who himself isn't a delegate, therefore couldn't vote, declined speaking to the press. He came 12 votes short of victory, even though his supporters were confident this was his time. We want to vote for him because he has more things to do for the constituency. And also, we, it's time we need entrepreneurs in the constituency. So we think that he is the best and the ideal person for the constituency now. So that's why we are voting for him. The current MP hasn't Oh, he, he performed. He performed. But I think we need something extra. We need to change and see something else. We want change so that we can see what the other person also can do. Despite winning by a close margin, Issa Fuseni is confident he will widen the margin for the party in the upcoming general elections, hence his gratitude to delegates. That was not my first time in the primary, it's my actual, actually the third time I'm contesting in the primary. The last time there were four of us, this time there were only two of us, so it was a two-way race. Obviously a two-way race and a four-way race are quite different. Um, I am grateful to the polling station executives of the party for reposing that confidence in me once again. I am grateful that uh, they find um, the work that I've done over the last three years convincing and they have decided that I continue as a parliamentary candidate and subsequently as a member of parliament.